the time complexity of an algorithm is the amount of computer time requires to complete the execution of an algorithm. The time complexity of an algorithm P is represented by T of P. So T of P is equal to compile time of the program C of P plus runtime of the program R of P. So here compile time it does not depend on the particular problem. It does not depend on the instance characteristics. Suppose once a program is compiled, so that program can be run many times or several times without the recompilation of the program. So that is once the program is compiled, that program can be run several times without compiling, recompiling the program. Next, runtime. Runtime of a program, it depends on the particular problem instance. So here, T of P is equal to C of P plus R of P. T of P is the time complexity of an algorithm P. C of P is the compile time of the program P. R of P is the runtime of algorithm or program P. Next, how to find out the time complexity of an algorithm in another way? So the time complexity of an algorithm can be calculated by using step count method. Okay, so in the step count method, we are using two factors. One is a frequency and another one is steps per execution. So frequency means how many times an instruction is executed. So that is called as frequency. Next one, S by E. S by E is nothing but steps for execution. So how many times a step is executed? So S by E also represent whether it is a valid instruction or not a valid instruction. So suppose if S by E value is equal to zero, it is not a valid instruction. S by E value is equal to one, it is a valid instruction. So the total number of steps is equal to the product of S by E into frequency. So the product of S by E into frequency, so can be treated as total steps of the algorithm. So by using this procedure, we have to find out the time complexity of an algorithm in another way. Next, we go for example. Now, we have to find out the time complexity of sum of n number of array elements. So this is the, this is the format we have to follow for finding the time complexity of an sum of array of n elements by using so frequency count method or step count method. So here algorithm, algorithm name is sum. So A is an array, n contains n number of elements. So initially some value is equal to zero. That is sum is nothing but yes, variable yes is equal to zero. So initially there is no sum is there. So s value can be initialized as zero for i is equal to one to n do. S is equal to s plus a of i. So if i is equal to one, s plus a of one. Next i is incremented, i is equal to two. So previous s value plus a of 2. So this procedure is repeated until so n value is up to n value. Next finally we can return the s value. So now s by e is nothing but steps for execution. So s by e defines whether it is a valid statement or not. So if it is a valid statement, then its value is equal to 1. If it is not a valid statement, its value is equal to 0. Okay. 
frequency means how many times each and every instruction is executed next total number of steps is equal to the product of s by e into frequency so here first algorithm algorithm name with parameters so it is not a valid statement so it is zero or no problem zero and frequency is also there is no frequency there is no total number of steps in the same way brace also it is not a valid statement frequency is zero and total number of steps is also zero next yes is equal to zero it is a valid statement so then yes by e value is equal to one so frequency is only one time it is executed and total number of steps is one into one so that is equal to one next next for you for i is equal to one to n do so how many times this loop is executed so if we can take any for loop that for loop is executed n plus one time n times it is executed but the condition is failed at n plus one time but it is a checked after checking we can find out that n plus one time the condition is failed so how many times this loop is executed that is n plus one time this loop is executed so it is a valid statement so then its value is equal to what frequency means how many times this instruction is executed that is n plus one time this instruction is executed so one into n plus one so that is equal to n plus one next brace it is not a valid statement there is no frequency there is no total number of steps next yes is equal to yes plus a of i if any for loop is executed n plus one time so the body of the for loop is executed n times okay for loop is executed n plus one time the body of the for loop is executed n times so it is a valid statement n times it is executed one into n is equal to n okay next brace close it is a not a valid statement so there is no frequency there is no total number of steps okay next written s yes. so it is a valid statement after finding out the sum value finally we are returning the so s value so it is a valid statement so frequency is also one time so 1 into 1 that is equal to 1 next brace it is not a valid statement so this one it is there is no frequency there is no total number of steps so finally so the total number of steps is equal to total number of steps is equal to n plus n that is 2n 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 so 2n plus 3 so in this one 3 is constant and uh, n is linear okay so among this one constant and linear which is the upper bound so n n is nothing but linear linear n is upper bound so therefore the time complexity is big o of n so in this way we have to find out the time complexity of an algorithm by using frequency frequency count or step count method so sometimes it can be written as not zero so this is also not zero so this is also not zero this is also not zero this is also not zero so this is also correct okay it is not a executable statement so it can be written as this one or it can be represented as zero so there is no wrong okay so in this way we have to find out the time complexity of an algorithm next we go for another example we go for another algorithm so matrix addition matrix addition so here 
algorithm algorithm name is matrix add a comment algorithm matrix add can be written as m add a comma b comma c comma m comma n so that is equal to for i is equal to 1 to m do for j is equal to 1 to n do next c of i comma c of i j so c of i j is equal to a of i j plus b of i j okay so in this way we have to find out the matrix addition so algorithm algorithm name is m add m add is nothing but matrix addition so it can take three matrices First matrix is A, second matrix is B, third matrix is C. So after adding two matrices A and B, so the result of the addition of the two matrices is stored in third matrix that is C. Next, each and every matrix has a particular row size and column size. So row size can be represented by letter M and column size can be represented by letter n so for i is equal to 1 to m do so here m represents the number of rows and n represents the number of columns so for i is equal to 1 to m do for j is equal to 1 to n do c of ij is equal to a of ij plus b of ij so in this way, we have to add each and every element in first matrix with the second matrix. So that result is stored in another matrix that is matrix C. So here the sequence number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay. Next step count. So here algorithm, algorithm name with parameters it is not a executable statement it can be represented as zero or hyphen so there is no frequency and there, there are no total number of steps next brace it is not a executable statement it is a there is no frequency there are no total number of steps next for i is equal to 1 to n 1 to m so how many times this for loop is executed so here the size of the mat the size of the for loop is i is varying from 1 to m so how many times this loop is executed so the for loop is starting with 1 and ending with m so how many times it is executed first it is a valid instruction how many times it is executed m plus one time it is executed so here the total number of steps is one is multiplied with m plus one so the total number of steps is m plus one next so within the for loop this is another for loop is there so how many times this is executed this for loop is executed m plus one time what are the what are the statements within the body of the for loop so that can be executed m times so this is m times it is executed and this is also m times it is executed okay next go for this one for j is equal to 1 to n 2 
so here j value is varying from 1 to n so how many number of iterations are there n number of iterations are there how many times this for loop is executed n plus 1 times it is executed so here it is multiplied with n plus 1 time it is executed so if it is executed n plus 1 time what are the statements within the body of the loop so that can be executed how many times that is n times it is executed so n times it is executed so these two statements are valid statements okay so then next step so here 1 into m into n plus 1 is that is m n plus m and what is this value so this is m n next next this is the op closing brace it is not a valid statement the frequency is also nil and total number of steps is also nil so therefore total number of steps total number of steps is equal to mn plus mn so that is 2mn plus m plus m that is 2m plus 1 so 2mn plus 2m plus 1 so according to that one the time complexity is big o of m n here m is equal to n so m is equal to n so that is big o of n square so that is matrix addition so the time complexity of matrix addition is big o of n square so in this way we have to find out the time complexity of an algorithm using this 